A common question frequently asked to me is what are the differences between vaccines given in the government sector versus vaccines given in the private sector. Let us see the answer in today's video. Hi friends, I am Dr. Karamat. This is Scientific Doctor channel. In this channel, every week health related explanations are provided via a video. If you want to see such videos, subscribe to this channel. Also press the bell icon adjacent to it to get instant notifications whenever new content is released. This week's video is regarding the differences between vaccines provided in the government sector and the private sector. This video is pertinent especially to countries like India because there are differences between the vaccines given in the government as well as the private sector. Before understanding the differences, we have to understand vaccines are preparations which give you immunity without actually giving the disease. Okay, These are researched extensively, you know, put into trials, their safety, efficacy etc. is assessed and once that is assessed, once that is assessed as useful, then these vaccines are approved by regulators in the respective government and then released to the public by the companies. They are released as brands. But this is not enough. The other bodies, recommending bodies have to assess their usefulness regarding your specific country your specific disease conditions or epidemiology and then they have to make recommendations. These recommendations will pertain to both the individual level as well as the public health level. We have to understand for the individual it is enough that if this vaccine is safe and effective that is this vaccine will prevent this disease from happening. But at the public health level, we have to understand this a little more. We have to understand what is the burden of this disease. Am I justified in spending this much amount of money for this vaccine to prevent a rare disease? No. For, for, from a public health perspective, they will say no. We have much more important public health measures which should be taken first. So the importance of a vaccine will depend upon for the public health perspective depending upon the epidemiology the prevalence of the disease also and also the effectiveness of the vaccine in the public health sphere some vaccines are very good for individuals but they have very less herd immunity what do i mean that is they have to be given to practically every individual in the community for prevention some others have very good herd immunity. What do I mean? That means if you vaccinate a proportion of individual, not 100%, probably 60, 70 or 80% because of the herd effect. That means the other individuals who are not vaccinated will also have some level of protection because many persons are protected. They have lesser chance of infection. The persons who are not vaccinated also have lesser chance of infection. This is very important from a public health perspective. Why? Practically 100% of persons we may not be able to immunize or vaccinate. There might be misses in a program, in a large scale program. And there might be individuals who cannot be vaccinated because of their disease condition, because of their allergy to certain vaccines, some persons cannot be vaccinated. So vaccines which have good herd immunity are much more useful from a public health point of view. Third, you will also have socio-economic considerations. Vaccines come at a cost. Even for governments, even for public health programs, they do come at a cost. And for countries like India, which is a very large country with a very large childhood population, you need huge socio-economic resources. So based on all this, a vaccine will be recommended for public health use by recommending bodies again. After this, the government will take a decision based on all this and will include this in the immunization program. 
This may not happen all of a sudden. This may happen in a phased manner. So, some regions may get it first. Some other regions might get it later. Similarly, initially you might get a lesser number of doses in the public health sector. Subsequently, as you know, your government is ready to spend more time, uh, more money on it, you might get more number of doses. So, that's why the schedule in the public health sector, that is the sector, the government sector vaccines and the private sector vaccines differ. So, we have to understand not that these private sector vaccines are not effective or not needed. In fact, they can get approval only after they have been proven effective. Second, they might have been recommended already because of the aforementioned factors. They might not have been included in your country or if the program might it already have been started but this is already present in the some other region. Your region might still not be covered. So, for all these reasons, you might have a difference between the vaccines in the government sector and in the private sector. But the vaccines given in the private sector recommended by the corresponding body are also needed for an individual level. So, if you can afford those vaccines, yes, definitely you can get all these vaccines. Similarly, the vaccines in the, given in the government sector are not of inferior quality. Just that some other vaccines have not been included in the schedule yet. I am using a word yet. They might be included subsequently. But if you want your child to be immunized, you can get these vaccines in the private sector. That doesn't mean vaccines given in the government sector are different or of low quality or something else. Both these vaccines are equal, the schedules are different because of the four mentioned factors. As far as India is concerned, as per national immunization program, vaccines for the following diseases are covered. Hepatitis B, polio, especially oral polio, injectable polio is given but at a much reduced dose as well as in a lesser number of doses. Because of programmatic reasons, probably in subsequent years, you will get more number of doses, but oral polio is given. BCG, which is used to prevent TB, serious forms of TB, that is given. DPT or diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, this vaccines, vaccine again, these diseases is given. Haemophilus influenza B, a vaccine against a bacteria, which can cause meningitis or pneumonia is given, vaccine against rotavirus is given and vaccines against measles and rubella is given. Some areas also receive vaccine against Japanese encephalitis where this disease is endemic. Tetanus toxoid is also given to older children as well as pregnant women. So, these are the vaccines given in the government sector. In fact, pneumococcal vaccination, that is vaccination against pneumococcus is also started in a smaller scale in six states in some of the districts. This will subsequently be expanded to cover the entire country. Coming to vaccines given in the private sector, whatever I said regarding the government sector, all these vaccines are also recommended in the private sector. In addition to these vaccines, as I said regarding polio, injectable polio vaccine is given in a more number of doses as well as each dose for a larger amount. So, a larger, more frequent injectable polio is given. Pneumococcal vaccination is given. Influenza or flu vaccination is given. Instead of MR, in addition to MR, you use MMR meaning the, there we cover measles and rubella in private sector. Mumps is also covered. Vaccination against typhoid is done. Vaccination against hepatitis A, chicken pox is also done. For older girls, vaccination against HPV, human papilloma virus is also done. And instead of TT, that is tetanus toxide, TDAP 
or tetanus with diphtheria and pertussis booster is given for adolescent as well as pregnant women. So, these are the vaccines which are in addition to the government vaccines which are given in the private sector. So, vaccination in government sector and private sector are little different because of programmatic reasons. Essentially, the vaccine themselves are not different. So, if you can afford, kindly take vaccines in the private sector which are not yet started to be given in the government sector. But if you are giving the vaccines from the government sector, don't worry, these are not inferior vaccines. Friends, hopefully this would have cleared your doubts regarding the differences between the vaccines given in the government sector and the private sector. If you like this video, share it among your friends and relatives. If you want to see such videos, subscribe to this channel. Till we meet again, bye.